and welcome to another beautiful day in Paris. Um, this weekend it's the Journée du Patrimoine, which means um, Heritage Days. So this weekend loads of places that aren't usually open to the public have been opened for the public to have a look inside and explore. So really beautiful old buildings like the um, Bank of France and the Hotel de la Marine and things like that. So I'm really excited to take you along with me as I have a peek inside some of the hidden spots of Paris and share it all with you. So let's go! de la Marine is a familiar site for many in Paris, located at the northeastern part of Place de la Concorde. In 1765, the decision was made to install the Royal Garde Meuble, an institution in charge of the king's furniture, in the easternmost palace of the square. Its galleries were open to the public from 9am to 1pm on the first Tuesday of each month. It also housed a chapel, a library, workshops, stables and many apartments. From 1789, it housed the Naval Ministry, which considerably expanded its offices until it occupied the whole building. The building has housed the French naval staff until as recently as 2015. Today, the monument is open to visitors, as well as offering a restaurant and cafe in the historic setting. I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? I was particularly impressed by these screens they had set up depicting balls that had taken place here over the centuries. The figures twirling in their gowns were like ghosts of the past and were really atmospheric to glimpse what life was like here before. Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment this building has seen important historical events take place it was at the hotel de la marine that the decree for the abolition of slavery was drafted this decree definitively put an end to slavery in the french colonies as well as to the system of commitment and time in senegal together I could stop the time, don't you know that I would, cause I'm just loving this moment, can we stay here forever, 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 I watch you as you drive, do you know I'm looking?
Okay, so I've just finished up at the Hotel de la Marine and I really, really loved it. I'm sure the footage showed you it in all its beauty, or at least I hope it did. And now I'm going to head to the Banque de France, which is um, the Hotel Toulouse. So it's basically a really fancy building. I will see if I can get in there because it's really busy everywhere today because it's the heritage weekend. There's just queues everywhere, but fingers crossed I'll be able to get in. <laughs> place that claims to have the best Madeleines in Paris. It looks really cute. I'm gonna go in and have a look. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. The headquarters of the Bank of France are located in Hôtel de Toulouse. It is the central bank of France. Founded in 1712, it began as a private institution for managing state debts and issuing notes. It is responsible for the accounts of the French government, managing the accounts and the facilitation of payments for the treasury and some public companies. The Hôtel de Toulouse was the site of a scene from the film Marie Antoinette, with its famous Galerie Dorée, or Golden Gallery, as a room in a palace of her youth. Other films, both French, shot at the site are Vatel and Tous les matins du monde. I was blown away by the sheer opulence of the interiors, which seemed very over the top for a bank. The building is private, and the public are only able to get a peek inside during Heritage Weekend, which is only two days a year, so I was thrilled to get the opportunity to look around.
back. It's been a long day. <laughs> I didn't realise how busy um, Heritage Day or Heritage Weekend was going to be in Paris. Um, the queue to get into the Banque de France was really long. It literally stretched all the way along the street, round the corner, and then round another corner. So it was like along three streets. And the wait time to get inside was over one and a half hours. So if I knew, I probably would have brought a book or something to read in the queue, but at least it was sunny. So I kind of just turned my face towards the sun and sunbathed in the queue. But it was really, really long and it was lunchtime that I got there. So I was really hungry and just standing waiting, but it was worth it. As you can see in the videos, it was spectacular. <laughs> the paintings were beautiful. And I was really impressed to see a painting by Fragonard in one of the rooms as well. It was um, right across the room, a massive painting. Um, I'll put the name of it here because I can't remember what it was called, but it was really, really beautiful. Um, and I loved it. So I'm glad day one of Heritage Weekend is complete and I think it was successful. Um, I visited two very beautiful places, Hotel de la Marine and Banque de France, um, and I'm very grateful that I was able to visit. And actually, a funny story about the Hotel de la Marine. At first, when I got there, I didn't think I was going to get in because um, when I arrived, they said that you had to have reserved a ticket to get in, and I hadn't because I was not aware. And I was like, oh, I'll just have to move on and walk somewhere else to visit. But, to my luck, a man came up to me and he said that he had a spare ticket because his friend who was meant to come with him wasn't going to be able to come anymore. And he asked me if I wanted it, so I was really, really lucky that he gave me the spare ticket and I was still able to visit and it was really good. <laughs> so yeah, and on the way back I actually passed a vide grenier. If you don't know what a vide grenier is, it's it translates in English to empty attic. So it's a bit like a car boot house. So there's tables set up outside and people are selling things. And there are all sorts of things like um, second-hand clothes, books, toys, and also like antiques and homeware items. And I picked up this on the way back for one euro. One euro! It's a cute little plate and it's really, really pretty. I love the colour and the flowers on it. And it's, um, I don't know if it's focusing. It's from Limoges, which is a really famous, well-known, um, French porcelain manufacturer, Limoges. So I was really happy to find this and it's really cute because here they only have plain white um, plates and mugs and things that came with the apartment when I moved in. So it's nice to have something a bit special for, for example, da -da -da -da, my Madeleines. So you saw me getting these on the way back and I'm really excited to try these because apparently they're the best Madeleines in Paris. So we're about to find out. Be ready to see inside. I ended up getting, um, because they came in little cute boxes like this of different sizes, this was the smallest and you can choose two different flavours. And I ended up getting um, apricot and thyme and peanut and salted caramel. So they're quite interesting combinations and I'm looking forward to trying them. And they do smell really good, so I can put them on my new plate and they'll look really cute. quickly and make a coffee and then I'll enjoy these and let you know how they taste. Okay, I have my coffee. That is definitely much needed after hours of standing in queues. <laughs> and I'm ready to try my Madeleines. So first I'm going to try the thyme and apricot one. So it's quite an interesting combination. I've never had a thyme flavoured cake so I thought it'd be good. I mean, first impression, it feels very, very fluffy when you squish it between my fingers, so that's a good sign already. That's what it looks like inside. So it's got an um, apricot jam running through it. I would say it's probably a 7 out of 10. I'm rather underwhelmed. I've tried loads of Madeleines in loads of places and um, this one, although the texture is nice and fluffy, it hasn't got much flavour. I was expecting to have a bit of a stronger fruity flavour in it. So that one I would say 7 out of 10. First impression, not that great. Okay, time to try the other one. This one is the peanut and salted caramel one. 
see the little shell shape, it's really cute. <laughs> I would say that one's better than the first because the peanuts give it a lot of flavour but again it's not really the best I've ever had. I did buy Madeleines once from I think it was Lendemain Boulangerie or so. it was called something like that and they were a lot better. It was a pack with a mini Madeleines and they were different flavours and they were like pistachio and raspberry and lemon and they were really really incredible. They were better than this I would say so I'm sorry. Mado à Paris, but I do not think your Madeleines are the best in Paris. Um, but they are still good. So yeah, that's my review. I'd give them about a 7 out of 10. Sorry. <laughs> a bit underwhelmed. I'll still enjoy them with my coffee. Another thing that I forgot to mention was that on the way back, I had to take a really long route to get back to my house because there was a protest classic French protest, the first one I've come across while I've been living here and it was just, yeah, the road was all closed off and there were all police vans and policemen out on the street and I had to kind of like take a bit of a longer route to make my way back without walking through the protest. So yeah, I saw my first French grève, <laughs> actually no, a grève is a strike isn't it? Manifestation, we'll say that. And yeah, they're a bit frustrating. <laughs> And with that, I'll say thank you for joining me on my first day of exploring the secret hidden parts of Paris during the Journée du Patrimoine, so today's Saturday, first day of the weekend, first day of um, the Heritage Day. And tomorrow I'll be exploring again, seeing some more places, and of course I'll be sharing it all with you. So I hope you join me. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to see more parts of Paris and to explore the city with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye!